today is our last Big Cats class, and we're going to do a family illustration. You can try out some different compositions for our Big Cat family, our final illustration for this class. Woohoo! So just like we do in story art class, I'm going to start with some borders that look roughly the same as my paper. Just to save time, I'm going to sketch out a couple of them. Some sideways, some tall ways. Maybe a square. Yeah. For Instagram purposes, there we go. Maybe a panoramic one. So at minimum, you're going to have one adult male, one adult female, and one cub. If you want to do more than one of any of these, that's great, but minimum, one of each. You can also mix and match actions. So some ideas might be Walking, you can pretty much think of any scene in The Lion King and get some ideas from that too. Sleeping, hunting, playing, greeting, we saw that like a uh, little head butt greet that many cats do. So there's lots of different things that you can have as for the activity of the lion. I'm going to start with the easiest one, kind of a family portrait where they're all just sitting down. So let's start with our big lion dad. Maybe sitting over here. This is doodle mode, no details, no faces. And then maybe our adult female sitting over here. And then our little cub in the middle. We could do something like that. We can do something more action-y. Maybe they're walking. So we could have remember doodle mode, super simple. Don't worry about anatomy. Just as long as I know that he's walking. The one with the mane obviously going to be the dad. Maybe the mom can be behind so we don't see as much of her. And then the little one running to catch up. We can do something more close up. I think there's a fairly famous photo of a dad lion playing with a little cub. And the dad's got his mouth wide open. And the cub's kind of looking inside. Put a yawn here. And then you can stick the mom's head over here watching what are those two doing Damon is that a friend of anybody's I'm gonna let him in a new person a new person yeah Damon hi Damon hi Damon <laughs> All my Facebook thing is paying off. All right. <laughs> Damon, what's your last name? Hey, Bud Sheets. Hi. You remember me? We're trying to remember. We're trying you. to remember your last name. Donovan. Oh, yes. <laughs> so you're... 
We're going to be drawing some big cats today, so we're just figuring out what poses we want. I don't care if I'm doing it. Here you go. Yeah. And we're going to do some on our own, so you guys can just doodle whatever little uh, compositions you want in the last two. Or if you don't like the shapes of these borders, you can make some new ones. You can wait. No, he can't. Yes, he can. Fart, fart, duty butt. Ow! Go. Fart, fart, duty butt, butt, fart, goo. Mom. Just need a chihuahua, but so far. I'm Do very me. sorry. I'm muting us right now. <laughs> That's okay. I have dogs <laughs> that are misbehaving. I have the behavior modifier right here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know if Michaela is joining the SAR class today? Usually she does, Usually. but I don't know where she is today. Yeah. She often doesn't come in until about five. Oh, okay. Wait, what are we drawing today again? We're going to draw some big cats, like lions, tigers. You can turn into a lion, tiger, cheetah, whatever you want. So we're going to draw the basic poses together. I ran out of small paper, so I have this paper. Hey. Oh, why right not? Fill it up. If you're going to follow along with me, I think I'm going to do this one, but you're always welcome to make your own illustration however you like. So I'm going to get my actual piece of paper over here. Tall waves. I'll just keep this one in the corner so that I can see my plan. I do that. So I'm going to have a little cub up on the rock and then a mom lying down here and a dad lying down there. So I'm going to sketch out my rock first. I'll put my little cub's head up here. Starting with my circle. And my nose line turning to the left. Eye line looking down. And then we'll sketch out the rest of the body starting with the neck. Another circle for the chest. And then we'll go right off the paper. And 
And then for those front legs, remember that it comes forward first. So we're going to have a small angle right there. And comes forward again. Just going to put a little oval for the foot for now. Same thing on the other side, maybe a little bit higher so that we can show it's farther away. Then we'll place the mother lion. So I want her to be looking right up at the cub. So I'll give myself a guideline so I know where to put her head. A little bit bigger circle than that cub. And I'll put on my eye line looking up. And actually, we won't see anything of the nose line since I want her head to be turning more. We'd only see it across the top that way. This is a new angle that we've never done before. Aha! Just so that it makes a little bit more sense, we'll go ahead and use that technique where we cut out the eyebrow. And we'll add the nose box, just the top of the nose there. And I'll bring it down and connect it right back to the circle. From that circle, we're going to flow right off into the neck. And again, those legs are going to come forward first. And if she's laying down, we can have the rest of her leg come forward that way. Oval for the foot. The other leg's going to be behind that one, so we don't even have to draw it that much. And then I'm going to put the adult male sleeping down here. So I'll put another circle. Betsy, move your left fingers, please. Thank there you, you go. <laughs> Having trouble with that leg. Thanks. You're welcome. Here's my nose line coming around this way, and then my eye line that way.
I'll put on his nose box. Coming straight toward the camera. So we've got foreshortening happening, really squash shape. He's going to be sleeping on his foreleg just like a pillow, so we'll have the foot just poking out right there, going right underneath his chin. I should we put the other one? It'll be underneath. And this guy will have a big old mane if you're making lions. So plot that shape in there. And when you come to the end of the leg on the body, remember we're going to have a bump for the shoulder blade right at the top. And then we'll go back up to the cub and start putting in some details. We're going to use that method where we cut out a little bit off the edge, come around the front, and then use those same angles. We'll bring the nose forward, keeping it pretty squashed, foreshortening. On either side of the nose, we're going to have these eye sockets. The one on the skinny side is going to get really skinny. We leave that little tiny shape on the bottom for that rim, and then the eye can go inside. Triangle in the front for the nose. Teeny tiny line, connect to the mouth. That mouth starting out as a frown in front, and then it can curl around into a smile after you pass that corner. If you want the cub to open his mouth, you just add that one little shape underneath the open mouth. And then we'll go around that mouth shape to make the chin. And I'll flatten out the head just a little bit so it's not so round on top. And we'll separate out the toes.
toes are going to get skinnier as they get more overlapped. We're going to start with big ones and then they'll get smaller, smaller, skinnier, skinnier. On the other foot too, I'm going to start with some big toes and then the other one's super skinny. Have his neck and his chest go right down and in between his legs. I'm not going to put on the ears because depending on if you're making a tiger or a leopard or a cheetah, they have different ear shapes, so you're going to have to do that on your own. We'll move down. Oh, come to on, give me a hint. <laughs> <laughs> the hint is we've got this eye line. There was something about this eye line connected to the ear. Oh, great. Okay. You know how many flying <laughs> classes I missed? <laughs> I'm paying it now. <laughs> uh, for lions, it tends to be the inner ear crease. Can you go around? Or leopards or cats that have ears a little more on top of their head, it'll be the bottom of the ear. So it kind of depends on which cat you want to make. We'll slide on down to the adult female. I'm going to clean out that eye socket area. So this line that we've already plotted out, that's her brow ridge. If you wanted to make an eyebrow, that's where it would go. And we'll only see a very skinny portion of her eye. We'll only see a little bit of her nose since it's turned away from us. But if she has her mouth open, you can put a tiny little shape reversing backward that way. Then we go around that shape and right back into the head. Since we haven't done this angle before, go ahead and give yourself one more guideline. Pretty much halfway down the line of symmetry that we have, we're going to just cross that one to give us some indication of where the ears should be. So one ear is probably going to go right on that line there and the other ear over there, depending on what kind of ears you make, what kind of cat you make. We do have to flatten out the head a little bit so it's not round like a basketball. And the jaw is going to end in front of the ear. So that will change your head shape a little bit. So we've got all this flesh getting compressed and overlapped. We're going to have a couple of wrinkle lines, just like you would with clothing.
Then we'll have a little change of direction here, a little bit sharp. To show where that leg flexes into the paw. And remember these legs should get steadily wider as they go back into the torso and steadily narrower as they go down to the paw. If your lines are looking too even, you're going to have kind of noodly limbed big cats. And we'll separate out her toes. Putting that line really almost in the center for that first toe. Then we'll get steadily skinnier, less visible. If you want to turn this other paw, we can put the little toe pads on the bottom. That little foam in there. Oh, I think I forgot it on the tub. He's coming up to the door. Oh, okay. You're set, eh? I think he's done. So we got one more to go here. There's a nose right in front. This one I think is sleeping, so you might just have a little bit. Doesn't matter if the eyes are open or closed, there will still be that eye socket, so I'm still going to plot out. Excellent. The big eye socket. That was fairly painless. Yeah, you know, it's been working way there. Oh, I gotta mute myself. Everybody just want to hear. <laughs> hey, where'd you see he's dropping? We're not saying a thing. Yeah, baby. I'll put my eyebrows in at the top of that socket. And we'll leave just a little shape at the bottom, a little noodle on both sides. And then we'll sketch the rest of the eye right on that line. To sell the point that he's sleeping, you can darken in the line that touches that bottom section for the eyelashes. I'm just going to round off some shapes on his muzzle here, round off his chin. Round off his nose. Put in some cheeks. And flatten off the head. I 
I'm going to change the position of his paws a little bit. We'll have this one coming down with his toes. And then his elbow can come out here. You can put in those toes. Probably only going to see two or three, maybe. It's almost in a sideways view. If his legs are looking too short, just bring that elbow more back. This other paw is going to be facing toward us, so we're going to have all four toes visible. One, two, three, and four. We'll just have the other leg come down that way. So I know you all have computers with the internet, otherwise you would not be here. So we're going to take some time to go look up references for whatever big cats you want to turn these into. So you can look up leopards, bobcats, cheetahs, whichever one you want to turn these guys into. And we have about 20 minutes left, so that should be plenty of time to finish up the drawing. And we'll have our big reveal once everybody is done. Big reveal. Don't. Nope. There we go. Thanks. <laughs> Woo. You might look up cats, but my toes look like balloons. Like I said before, if you want to add another little cub down in here, sleeping over here, that's up to you. Make it your own. I have a hard enough time making it yours, much less. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're having. Okay. okay. You took the mane off. Because I'm not drawing a lion. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'll leave this one up for about five minutes and then I'm going to finish up off camera so you can't see. I work yeah. on your own a little bit. Okay, fine. <laughs> I guess I better look up the lion. It's the shoulder.
just about 15 more minutes. I'm going to work on mine. Huh? I'm going to do <sighs> Okay, Nico? Oh. Change that one. He was looking more cartoony. Say hi to Betsy. Hi, Betsy. Hey. Oh, mane. Betsy, I need help with the mane. You need help with the mane. All right. Well, I, got, I got an example. Oh. Let me take a look. Okay. And what's it like on your drawing? No laughing allowed. No. 
Oh, it's all right. It's fine. You just got to do uh, the overall shape rather than the individual hairs. You're getting a little bit into drawing every single hair. So let me show you an example. Let me get my video back up here. Where is my thumbnail? There it is. And I'm going to turn over to Elmo. All right, I'm going to go sit outside. Take the boys with you. Yeah, I don't know where the lizard is. I look, close the door behind you. No, just don't. Go, Max. Say out. <laughs> I'm, re I'm, I'm paying attention now, Betsy. Honest. Okay, no problem. I just doodled out a uh, simple yeah. outline here. So you're gonna do the outline of the mane first, big shapes first. Okay. And then just like when we're drawing hair for people, we're just going to separate out a few of like the hair tips. You can get some bangs on there if you want. Or you can go ahead and look at Simba or some other characters from The Lion King that have manes and see how those artists did it. Okay. Most of the time when I don't know how to draw something, I look for somebody else who drew it and see what they did. Okay. Just about five or six minutes left. And even if you don't finish today, if you could send your finished drawing to our email, teamjli at gmail.com for our art show. We need art for an art show. I sneezed earlier. <laughs> I could wash my car every day. We got so much junk in the air right now. Yeah. Looks like I've been off floating with it. <laughs> you could just let it be dirty. Uh, what I do. <laughs> I mean, Kristen, it's so dirty I can't see out the freaking window. <laughs> ah, that's too dirty. I I got one of the uh, I go through the car wash as many times as I want for 20 bucks. So I get my money. Hi. They didn't make any money. Hi, Michaela. Hey, Michaela. Damon was asking about you. Damon. Donovan. Donovan, sorry. Donovan. Oh, they, they showed up? Yeah. Oh, geez. I feel so bad. He isn't there right now, but we get to look at his window in his chair. Yeah. No, he, he'll be back, I think. He's still tuned in. Oh, where'd he go? Sharpen his pencil? <laughs> be his brother? That's what most boys do. My husband came from three. Because they were constantly fighting. <laughs> Yeah. And that was their fun time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm pretty happy with mine, except the girl. I the picture I thought the female lion lionesses had a little scruffy mane, but it doesn't Hey Del hey, Donovan. Oh, he's muted so we can't say hi. Hey. There he is. <laughs> there he is. 
Where's the seal? Seal, but I can't really see you because your screen's. Yeah, you don't have a screen. Yeah. Well, it's nice to see your name on it. That's all we get to see. We get to see the artwork. Oh, my dog wants out. I'll be right back. Hey, Kayla. Yay. After this, do you want to play Animal Crossing? Sure. All right. Oh, my Nico plays that. You get to take, find different animals and you take them to the professor and he tells you about them. That sounds more like Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, there's a guy named Tom Nook, and you take animals to him and he'll tell you about them, and then yeah. he'll bring them to a museum and you'll get yeah. rewards. Yeah, that's what he. Oh, said. that's the part you're talking about. Okay, got it. I don't know where he went. He went outside, I think, to talk to the tortoise. Skimmy! Just four more minutes. Oh, well, you have like one of those big tortoises? Yeah. It's his. He brought it home in his hand. And it stayed at Granny's house. I saved the turtle from the road. We were driving one day and there was a big turtle just trying to cross the road and we took it and we brought it to our house and we let it go in our little lake. Good job. Mm -hmm. How big is your tortoise? My it tortoise was probably the size of this computer, so this big. Wow. Wow. A regular, like, a regular adult sized one probably. Wow. Hey. So, Betsy, could you click quickly refresh me on what we're doing today? Uh, we're doing our big cat family. Oh yeah, are we? Is there any guidelines, or do we just go ham? One adult male, one adult female, one adult or one adult cub, one cub. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. I just copied you, but then mine ended up bad. Oh, come not on. Bad. Not finished. Different. Different. All right. He hasn't seen any of my work, has he? <laughs> <laughs> He'll look stick like, around. Yeah, stick around. You'll look like Michelangelo. Oh, for let's see. Let's see. Let me get your video bigger. Oh, you can there though. We got two eyes, two legs. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> hey, I haven't done it in like a year because you know how like you use the face with the circles and you put the two lines so yep. it looks 3D? Mm -hmm. I haven't done that in so long. I haven't used that technique in like so long so I haven't been drawing a lot. Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome Crack back. Again. Glad to see you. I'm glad to meet you. Just two more minutes. Two more minutes for show and tell. Yep. Oh no! Oh geez, I gotta hurry. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Watch, she's got one done in two seconds. You don't have to be done, though. I'm saying that because I'm not going to be done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this was fun, Betsy. Hey, Lo, why aren't you turning on your screen? Oh, because my uh, computer, my computer uh, camera is broken. Oh. What should we put in the background, um, Betsy? What, just plain old blue sky if we color it? Sure, you can do blue sky, clouds. You can do tiny, tiny little trees in the distance. So since I had that big paper, you know how like the lines are supposed to like you can't see like the other part of the body mm -hmm. since it's like at the very edge. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't do that with this paper, so yeah. it's just um cut in half. You just draw a line to show that that's the edge of your image. Right. Oh, geez, how much time, Betsy? Uh, none. <laughs> We're gonna start doing our little show and tell here. Wait, what this? This marker ripped me off. It's a sh it shows a black marker, but it's actually a blue. Oh, 
Yeah. Somebody switch the cap. Yeah. I'll be right back. Kristen. Yes. You watch Netflix? No. Do you watch Amazon Prime? Okay. Yes. In the summer you do, right? So mm -hmm. I just got through watching a good one I think you might like. It's called Molokai, Molokai, Molokai about the leopard colonies. Oh. Yeah, Molokai. Look, look it up. I think you'll like it. Will do. Hey guys, you want to see like my little serval family I drew? Sure. Let me check if the uh, share screen is activated. Now it is. Okay, let me show you my serval cat family done in two minutes. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, You uh, didn't use all those guidelines. <laughs> <laughs> You got something done in two minutes. Very nice. Hey, what, do you, what do you think about that, Donovan? That's that's quick. All right, here's mine. It's that looks like my drawings in under an hour. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys are getting wow. to eat nice. What's, what's the tiny thing on the right? She hasn't finished that's eating that's, the That's the, the, um, the face. Oh, you know okay. how you, like, yes, you gotta lightly it sketch it and then erase all the other parts, right? <laughs> Yeah. Look at her mask, guys. Look at her mask. She cheated. Well, I lightly sketched yeah. it, oh, I love like half of the part, and I then I sketched it. a bunch. Yeah. yeah, she got the nose and the whiskers all done for her. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween. Stephanie. Oh, yeah. Hey, okay. you did all right by yourself. Do I erase that line? Only if you want to. It's a color separation line, or you can just erase it, and when you color it, yeah. Okay, thanks. I really like your male lion. Thank you. Uh, all right, Frank. Let's see it. Hey! Lions, and then let's take a look at Frank. Hey! Oh, hey this one's oh, I love that cub. Look at that. Look at, that. Wow. Look at the mom oh. down there. She knows <laughs> bouncer. Look. I like the, her <laughs> eyes back. Right. Yeah. Wow. Don't you Did dare. You do yeah. movie script? Oh, that is terrific. Did you do man. the Disney animations? That, yes, Frank did them. Frank did them all. Very, very cool. <laughs> wow. And then I turned mine into tigers. Let's see him. Let's switch my camera over here. And spotlight my video. Oh, oh wow. Great. Looking. Nice. The oh, tracks are just so fun, so I turned it. Let's see, you can stick a little tree back there, and then look yeah. for big open spaces, put some clouds in. Okay. You want? Submit these to the show. When yes, please send them uh, teamjli at gmail.com. I send some things, but I'm going to send some more when I get them finished. Yeah, okay. yeah. And I'll see some of you in the next class.